Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and we are going to assemble the JT2020 portable commode and shower lift today. Before we get into the assembly, let's take a brief pause so you can learn where to find us online. quickandmobile.com, we're a United States company. You can feel welcome to call us Monday through Friday, 10 to 6 a.m. or 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay. That moment has passed, and we're going to take a look at a couple of things. The components that you will need to assemble this can be found in the actual commode itself. And we have a couple of screws, very, very simple installation. There is a remote. I have already taken the liberty to put the AAA batteries that are included in the actual remote itself. So for now, we're going to just slide the remote into the arm with the chair, and we'll go ahead and set this aside for a moment so we can take a look at where we would put the screws. Now this is very simple. We have the actual cover here, so all we're going to do is take a look at the little hole that's drilled in the cover, Look at the, there's a little hole for the screw. Already pre-drilled for you, so it's as simple as making certain those are all the way down. And we have an actual cover here, two covers, one small Allen wrench and a screw. So I'm just going to thread this screw in and I can look on the, on the top if I want to on the way down to, to make certain that I got it in the correct position. Looks like I did, so it's, it's very simple. I mean, you can see that that's done, and then I just take this little cap right here, and I put the cap in place, and, and there you go. That makes it very simple. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I just kind of get this screw here and I'm just going to very simply line it up. I mean, I can practically do this with one hand. Screw it into the point where it's going to keep this in place. And then I put the cover on. So I've locked essentially both of these into place. And I'm going to take a look at the motor now. So the motor itself, I've got that plugged in with the charger here, right from the side. Now the motor comes off before you would put this in the shower. You don't want to get the motor wet. Now you can see that the motor has a grab and a release. And then you can see the motor in the front is going to go into the front. Okay, so the foot pedals actually lift up a little bit. And what I'm going to do very simply here is this is in the open position. I'm gonna kind of drop this down enough to line this up, grab it and snap it. Okay, so I'm gonna unlock it again. You can hear, and you can see that once I've lined this up, I, I kind of, I push it in. So I'm gonna pull it forward here just so we can kind of do this one more time. You can see how this works in the motor right here. Okay, and I'm gonna wheel this around. Now the wheels of this chair lock, this lift lock. I'm not gonna lock them right now. And we can see right there the front that's, that's what I want to do with the motor. So I'm just very easily going to kind of drop the motor down to begin with. You see how I just slide it into place, then I lock it. Now the motor has an on off, a battery fill indicator. The off is on the other side, and then I can manually lift or I can manually lower. Being as it's lifted, I'm going to lower because this will tell you when you have gone all the way down. You can do this with the remote as well. So there's, there's options here. 
You can gauge the speed that this works. And it's a pretty quiet device to operate. And gentle for the person who's in it as well. So it's not rocketing. There you go. And it beeps when you get all the way down. It's not rocketing you up and it's not just dropping you down very quickly. Okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, let's just go ahead and get the, the actual chamber pot out of the way just for a little bit. And we have a cushion. Now the cushion itself, you would not want to take that in the shower. That's separate. That's for your comfort. That's for sitting. And what we'll do here is we'll just take a look and we can see right here, we've got two spaces. Now this would go in the back under a bed and we would very simply go ahead and now I did this backwards, I'm sorry. We would put this side right in here so you can see that this swings open and closes, okay? So we'll demonstrate that in a separate video of how that works. And then we have the other side. We're going to put the other side in and we're going to take a look at the back of the device here. We're gonna go ahead and lock it. So I have the latch button here. I'm closing the latch, closing the seat belt. I've got a couple handles here that I can actually move the person manually if I need to. I'm going to, before I move here, get the chamber pot itself. And you take a look here at the chamber pot. There's a couple different slats. And if we take a look behind the actual chair, we've got the space to put those in. So we just line those up. This is optional. This doesn't need to be here. I mean, you can use this to lift and lower over a normal commode, or you can use the, the catch basin. And we can kind of leave that there, and then we have the, the cushion itself. And we can put the cushion right in the back. A couple more features I would like to demonstrate before we conclude the assembly guide here is you can see that I've been wheeling this around. We'll go ahead and wheel this and you can see that it's the back wheels that move the front wheels are stationary if i need to lock this you can see the on off right near the caster that locks it if i put the on down okay this locks it so i've got i've locked now the front wheels the back wheels are mobile i'm going to very easily lock those so i'm going to unlock it by stepping on the off, I'm going to lock it by stepping on the on. So it doesn't really matter what position those are in, but you can see that the device itself is locked. I'm going to sit in the device now. I've got two handles right here that will help me very easily get down. And if I want these handles out of the way, there's a button right here on the side. All I have to do is press this button. You can see how that works. It goes in and it allows the handles to swing out of the way. Very simple. I can have the handles up. I can have the handles down. The remote right here comes with two AAA batteries. And these actually come with the device. Now I'm going to turn the remote on. Now the motor itself was already on and I'm just going to lift the device up. So I, I put my feet right on the foot pedals. Very easy for me to use the remote to lift. I weigh right around 200 pounds. The device will lift a person up to 306 pounds and we can see how the motors work, how the device lifts. And it's just as easy to lower, 
So you can still lift a little bit more. We're just going to get a good gauge here of, of the whole lifting process. And this lowers, so we can take a look at the lowering process. Very convenient that you can do this with the remote, that you don't have to actually press the motor, but you can. So if the remote got lost, it's not like you don't have the ability to use the device. We'll lower this all the way down just to get a demonstration, and you can hear it beep. I will go ahead and shut the device off. You can see that the once I shut it off, we'll do this one more time. I'm going to turn it on with the remote. And you can hear a click or a beep when it comes on. You can see the battery indicator. And I will go ahead and turn it off. There you go. Let's put the remote in the little basket right on the side of the device so it doesn't get lost. Put the handles up. If I want to, I can easily slide the foot pedals out of the way so I can put my feet down on the floor right in front of the device. It makes it very easy. And I lift myself out. Very simple. That's a demonstration of the JT2020. It is a commode lift. You can wheel around in this lift and you can use it in the shower. Very convenient piece of equipment. We will unlatch it just for demonstration purposes. We will go ahead and remove the chamber pot. We will unlatch the back. And there you go. Stay tuned for future videos. Please feel welcome to like the video, subscribe to the video if you want notifications of other videos we do. And we will, of course, demonstrate the utility of this device in multiple other videos. One more opportunity to look at quickandmobile.com so you can learn where to find us online.